Hello YouTube. I'm here today with this week's uh, knife. The knife that I used the whole week is the Victorinox Forester. And let me start with that. That uh, I'm really biased about this knife because it's one of my favorite knives tools. Uh, let's start with a size comparison. You can see that it's pretty much the size of the Openel number no. nine, the Buck 110, slightly smaller than the Buck, uh, slightly yeah, and the Openel, but pretty much the same size, same weight. Actually, it's a lot. It's weighter than, uh, uh, heavier than um, the, the Buck and the Openel. The blade is slightly smaller. It's heavier because the construction is totally different. And it's a uh, multi-tool, like I said. Uh, let me start with uh, the modifications I made. The first modification is uh, the key ring. And you can see that I ground it uh, where the key ring should go. And it's, I can say it's a lot comfortable. Let me close the blade. The next modification is this modification is on the big uh, flat screwdriver. I made a cutting edge out of like a chisel ground. Uh, don't want to focus. I hope you're able to see. Let's see if I can focus. It's pretty shiny. But as you can see the angle over here, it's grounded. It's very useful because this way you can save your primary big blade and uh, it's, it's very uh, easy to use with uh, box opening uh, and the stuff if you want to scrape something. Uh, the other thing I did is uh, I made a 90 degree on this edge over here to scrape a fire steel and also to be able to scrape wood to make some nice shavings or if you want uh, yeah, to scrape uh, the surface of a uh, wooden piece when you carve something you can do that. Uh, just one thing to, to note is um, I think when I was scraping wood very hard and I was holding it pretty strong, actually accidentally I released the lock, I pressed it, it's over here, you have to push it this way, you can see that the blade is swinging as well. And accidentally I pushed it and actually while I was scraping it uh, actually it, it folded like that. And that's dangerous, uh, so yeah be careful with that. And also, this blade is very sharp. The very first time after I sharpened it, I opened it and I forgot that it's, it's sharpened and I just pushed it, I think, with my uh, finger this way. And actually, I, I pushed it very strong and it cut my finger. So be aware of that. Uh, what other modification? Overall, like I said, um, I'm biased and it's a uh, it's really good, reliable, nice tool. Uh, one of the downsides, I don't know if it's a downside, but it's a bit, it's noticeable. You can, I don't know if you can hear it. There is a, like a slight uh, movement. And this is because the, the blade half, probably half a millimeter from the lock but uh, it's never been a problem the only annoying thing is when you uh, carve something and uh, push against the wood the blade got stuck in the wood and when you uh, pull it back it's do it does that all the time and it's a bit annoying but after you get used to it um, what was the other thing that i wanted to, to point yeah the, the lock itself it's liner lock but um it's not the lock that keeps the blade open, it's uh, the back spring over here that keeps the blade open. And even without the lock, it needs some tension to uh, to close the blade. The blade is not gonna, even if you 
if I push it from this side, the blade is not gonna goes down, go down. You have to push it. So actually, it has like the spring has the usual usual uh, regular nine, uh, 90 millimeter Victorinox, but uh, the lock is just added for uh, security and safety. And it's we've never had a problem. It never uh, uh, it never failed on me. Yeah, so it's a really reliable and safe lock. Um, the next thing is about the blade. It's the Victorinox stainless steel. Uh, most of the knife guys who are really into very super steel knives, probably they're not gonna, they own like a 90 millimeter Victorinox, but they will never have uh, one of these knives for their primary knives. At least that's what I think about these guys that have like S35, 35 vn s30v the super steel because uh, yeah for in their opinion this is a very soft steel and it is soft indeed but it's uh, very easy to sharpen just with few touches of my uh, ceramic rod and for the whole week i sharpened it uh, on my uh, ceramic rod probably 20 times from one side 20 from the other and after that 10 from one side 10 from the other five from one side and two, like the end, finish touched, um, and it's it's still sharp. As usual, I use use, use it mostly in the kitchen. But the last couple of days, uh, I had something to do in the backyard, and I had to cut uh, um, uh, to shave uh, something from a wood piece. I also used the um, the wood saw. It is very handy. I don't use it very often, but when you need it, you just need it, and it's it's there. Uh, so from from the steel material, I'm really happy and satisfied with the Victorinox steel, uh, and the, my uh, ceramic rod is very light and small. I didn't bring it. I have to bring it one of the times to show you what exactly it is. But I have one of my videos. It's uh, on my uh, one-handed tracker. Uh, I, I'm showing how I sharpen my uh, one-handed tracker. Um, you can see it there. Uh, so the steel, it's it's really easy to to keep sharp. And actually, yeah, just remember something that uh, I gave the very same knife, not not this one, but the very same model, a Forester, to my wife's cousins. And actually, uh, it was a few years ago. We went to visit them, and I was uh, pretty much shocked because they, the the knife that I gave them, for one year they used it only in the kitchen, and and for this one year they never clo closed it. it, they kept it open all the time. They washed it just the blade, and actually all the greasy stuff, the all the the nasty stuff was stuck over here. Um, Actually, I almost broke my nails on both hands on the uh, the punch. I tried to open it, and it was so stuck from grease and everything that. Uh, actually, they they uh, I have a video. I'll uh, I'll leave a link in the description below to that video. The name is uh, How Not to Use Victorinox, and I was really shocked and surprised that after one year of pretty much abuse, and it was so dull that you you couldn't even cut. You, you couldn't hurt yourself. That's how how uh, blunt the the blade was. Um, I it took me probably half an hour to wash it pretty pretty good with uh, hot water and soap. And because they live in in Sofia in Bulgaria's capital, uh, and um, I just walked around the block they live, and I found a rock flat enough. And actually with that rock I sharpened the knife, and it worked. It wasn't like a uh, razor sharp, scary sharp, but it was sharp enough so you can uh, do whatever you, you need it to do. So I'm pretty sure you're not going to be able to do that with uh, super steel. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> also you can sharpen it on the car window if you slide the window down and just uh, um, sharpen it this way and the other way. And it, it, it's really amazing how easy it is to, to, to sharp it. And uh, for some people, is the downside. For me, is the upside. 
Okay, and one more thing. I forgot to check um, how much it costs now, but uh, I have this one since... I have it written over here. September 2015. have it uh, for over four years. And yeah, I, I bought it 24 pounds, I think. And a friend of mine got one of these probably six months ago for uh, 28 or 29 pounds here in UK. And probably now they go around 30, 30 pounds. And I think for the price and for the two you get for that price, you can't beat that. And especially if you go after a super steel knife, they probably they're above uh, 100 pounds. So, yeah, for the price of one knife that is super steel, you can buy three of these. And if you look after it, probably it will last a lifetime. Uh, another thing, the, the corkscrew. Uh, many people just hate it. <laughs> I don't like it, but um, I like it. Not only because I keep my uh, glasses uh, screwdriver. But also because I used the uh, corkscrew. First, uh, it was when well, 2012. I bought my one-handed tracker. It's a serrated blade, uh, and it has a Phillips screwdriver over here. And it's been several times that uh, I was with friends and we needed a corkscrew. And pretty much I was embarrassed that I didn't have the corkscrew. So yeah, and uh, I gave my one-handed tracker to my brother-in-law. Because uh, I took that knife, I didn't use it here, and I took it back to Bulgaria to use it when I'm there. But I didn't use it there either. So instead of just sitting in my drawer and getting dust, dusty, I gave it to my brother-in-law. Uh, and one more thing. Uh, this one is uh, uh, full flat grind. With uh, There is a secondary bevel over here. On the bottom uh, and it's uh, like from the both sides uh, not like the one-handed tracker that it's uh, two-thirds uh, from the blade are serrated and it's chisel ground and I've seen so many videos that the people are pretty scared how to sharp how that they're not gonna be able to sharpen them but it's it's at least for me it was pretty easy and I, I just sharpened them like a regular knife yeah it's no longer like a full chisel edge chisel ground uh, but uh, it makes it sharp and it's it's decently sharp and uh, yeah I uh, didn't have any problems uh, and for my Opinel because last week uh, last week yeah the knife was pretty soaked in water because I used it for a week and uh, I can show you now that it's when it's dry you can see how how loose I, I made it but when you once you you soak it up in water it's it's pretty much the the right tension but if if it was when i when i was it was like new once it's soaked it's pretty much difficult very difficult to open and close so that's uh, pretty much um yeah it's turned up another long video hope i didn't bore you and the knife uh, for the next week it's this knife you can say that it's pretty much the same knife but uh, actually it's the same blade but it's the work champ you can see the difference in thickness i don't take i i didn't use it that much so that's why i'm this i decided to put it just after my uh, victorinox forester to see how the the extra weight and the extra thickness will uh affect the performance of the knife so yeah that will be the knife for the next week thank you guys for watching see you next week